So there you go, guys. Piece number one. Nice, clean, tight miters, as you can see up close. What's up, guys? I've got a real quick video for you today on how to install trim profile edging. We're going to install some Rondek by Schluter on the perimeter of this niche here. Just a quick trick before you go and cut this trim. You want to install the back of the niche first because if you bump this out with the trim, it's difficult to get this back tile in with the trim already installed. So what you want to do is install tile on the bottom of the niche, the sides, keep the top open. This will help installing the trim. Install the back of the niche, pull measurements. Obviously this is going to be a square niche so it should be the same measurement on both verticals and both horizontals, which it is. Let's go cut some trim. Okay, so here is our trim edging profile. 3 8 Rondek by Schluter. What we're gonna do is miter our first corner and the measurement's gonna be from the outside corner of the miter. We're gonna pull our measurement and then make a second cut, a second miter cut for all four pieces. Now we're using a compound miter saw to cut the trim. Obviously you can use a grinder with a cutoff wheel. There's a lot of different options, but we believe this is the most accurate for nice, tight, clean miters. But we've got a metal blade here, as you can see. Double check the measurements from each outside edge of the miter. Perfect. Perfect. So there you go guys. Piece number one. This is for the bottom of the niche. We'll cut the two verticals and the top horizontal and we'll show you how to install this. Alright, so after you cut them, grab some tin snips to remove this portion of the trim. That's good. Also, grab a file and just file down the edge just a bit. Just like that. Do this to all four pieces and we're ready to install. So what you want to do is add some inset motor around the perimeter of the tiles where you're going to be installing the trim edging Rondek by Schluter. Clean off the excess and install. After you install all of the trim edging, you do your final adjustments. First you want to simply get the trim behind the tile before you adjust. Okay, so you have the trim edging installed. We will make our final adjustments after we install this top tile here. Nice, clean, tight miters, as you can see up close. And now install your last and fourth tile, the top tile. This makes it much easier to install the trim. Again, installing 
the left, right, and bottom first. Install the bottom left, right parts of the trim. Trowel your thin set mortar. Install your top piece of trim edging and then install your top tile. Okay, installing the perimeter of the niche, the bottom, top, left, and right of the sills. Okay, now we're installing the left and right side of this niche. Keep in mind, there's a pitch on the bottom sill here so that water can flow outside of the niche. This should never be level and obviously should never be pitched back into the niche. It needs to be pitched outside. With that being said, the left and right side of the perimeter, the cuts need to be tapered, meaning it's gonna be longer on this end than the back. It's not gonna be square. Again, it needs to be tapered, just like you see here. This side is longer than this side, which is a tapered cut, so that it can fit nice and tight, like so. Just like that. Okay, let's install the sides. Well, there you guys go, the niche is complete. Schluter Rondek, brushed nickel, aluminum, trim edging profile. It's a fantastic design, much better than using quarter round or matching bullnose much more low profile and modern. We've got clean miter joints at all four corners, as well as our proper slope pitch to send water outside of this niche. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.